This practice covers several different parts of the body. We'll be expanding the upper chest to open the heart. We'll be doing some twists, some wrist work, and some upper inner thigh toning. You might want to use your blocks for this practice. We'll be starting in child's pose. With your inner big toes together, your knees wide apart, probably as wide apart as the mat is, draw your pelvis back, reach your hands forward, and lift your fingers up as a way to tone the muscles of the forearm. Reach your, your fingers back toward your face, but keep your elbows lifted. Allow your head to release just slightly. Keep on drawing the fingers back. Release your hands down and walk them over to the left side where you'll stack your right hand on top of the left. As you reach your right sit bone toward the right heel, see if you can make the right hand taller than the left and breathe in to the right side ribs. Breathe in deep and breathe out long. Take your hands back to the center. Lift your fingertips up, allow your head to release, keep your elbows lifted, keep spreading the fingers for this nice tone in the forearms and upper arms. Release your fingertips down, walk your hands over to the right side, have your left hand stacked on top of the right, Reach your left sit bone way back as a way to get length from the pelvis to your armpit as you inch the left fingers a little bit taller than the right fingers. Just soften into it. Keep the left hip plugging into the left heel or close to it. Come back to the center position, lift your fingers up again, spread your fingers with your hands wide enough apart so that you can release your head, keep the elbows lifted, keep drawing the fingers back, and slowly lift yourself up to come to downward facing dog, tuck your toes under, keep your hands nice and wide apart, fingers still spreading. Press the fingertips down, bend your knees slightly. So lift your heels, bend your knees, get a nice curve in the spine. Walk your hands back toward your feet so you're at the back of the mat. At the back of the mat, you may want to use your blocks so that you can get just a little bit taller and that'll help you get a little bit more out of this twist. So with your knees bent, now slowly start to straighten your left leg. Keep your right hand to the block and open up. Just open your chest really nicely. Release your left hand to the block and bend your left knee. Straighten or come towards straight on the right as you lift your right hand up. The right leg is almost straight. Just opening the chest nicely. Do that again. Take your right hand down. Bend your right knee. Inhale. Sweep your left hand up. Exhale. Take the left hand down. Bend your left knee. Straighten your right. Reach your right arm up. Release your right hand down. With your hands to your low back, Inhale and rise up. Take your hands to your low back, either pointed down toward the floor, or maybe some of you can take your fingers and point them up toward the shoulders. Whichever way feels right, for me it's quite a stretch of the wrist to take the fingers 
toward the shoulders, but maybe after doing this a few repetitions in this practice, you'll be able to approach that. As you draw your elbows in toward each other, with the knees slightly bent, just slightly bent, take the heads of the arm bones back, look back, maybe you can take your head back, Inhale and rise up. Reach your hands up and slightly back with the hands nice and wide apart. Exhale, reach your hands back as you step your right foot back. With the hands reaching back to open the chest nicely. Keep the heel lifted so the right foot is almost vertical and drop yourself a little bit lower in the pose. From here, see if you can draw your heart forward and step forward, maybe even balance when you step forward and place your right foot down. Wrap your right elbow under your left Reach your hands up and slightly back. Exhale and release your hands. Just stand in Tadasana. Just enjoy this nice fullness of the pose. With your palms facing forward, thumbs reaching back, fingers spread. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, step the left leg back as you reach your hands back. Bow slightly forward and maybe step into a nice balanced pose before releasing your foot down. Take your left elbow under your right. If your hands are wide apart, no worries to see if you can get the elbows to lift slightly, gaze to lift slightly, nice opening of the upper back. Exhale, release your hands. Now step wide on your mat. In this wide stance, I've enjoyed doing this to get tone in the inner thighs. In one video, I call it the speed racer, where we bend the left knee, reaching the hands back, bend the right knee, reaching the hands back. Just trying to go a little bit lower as you go. And another variation to that is as you bend the left knee, you draw a little bit closer to the left knee as you come a little bit further down. So the inner thighs have to really reach back. You come back to the center and with the hands right above the knee, you just draw a little bit further down. The back foot is firmly planted there. You're pulling in from the back foot to the right foot and come back to center. Now let's go a little bit deeper. And this is a pose you might benefit from blocks. Place your blocks firmly down, bend your knee, walk your blocks over. Now see about taking the top of the thigh back and lifting your toes up. Now come back as you pull the feet in toward each other, come back to the center position. Walk your blocks over to the opposite side. Bend your knee. Draw a little bit deeper so that the inner thigh is moving way back. Now see about lifting your toes up and drawing your toes back down. Come back to the center position. Heel toe your feet in toward each other. With the feet now hip distance apart, bend your knees. Place your hands right above your knees and draw your heart forward to open the chest. Draw from the navel back to the spine to get fullness in the back body. Two more. Inhale and exhale. And inhale 
and exhale. Let's come to a kneeling position now. For those of us that need a little padding on, under the knees, create a double fold of your mat. To get that padding. You may want to use your blocks again. Reach your right foot forward, spread your toes, reach your right foot forward and twist. Reach your right arm up. Let's get this nice fullness to the right side. Take the right hand down. Now draw your pelvis back so that you might be sitting on your heel, but just sit to the inside of the heel. Now for some of us, that just makes us so wobbly that it's really tough to do that pose. So you might wanna slip a block under your right hip to get you more balanced. In this posture, twist to the bent leg side, the left leg side, just open the chest really nicely. I like the keeping the arms straight and the palms facing outward so that you just get this nice fullness from this action. Now twist to the opposite side, so the straight leg side. You're taking your left hand to the outer right leg as you twist to the opposite side. Come back to the center position. Let's make our way back to a kneeling position. The cushioning might be very beneficial to you as you tuck your toes under and take your hands to your low back. We started working to see if maybe we could take our fingers toward our head just to stretch our wrists, just to, to stretch our forearms a little bit more. Your choice, again, you can take your fingers down or fingers up. As you hug your elbows in toward each other and you open your chest, you take the top of the throat back. As you draw a nice opening to the upper chest, you look up, maybe you look back, maybe you drop your head slightly. Inhale and rise up. Now we'll do a hamstring stretch with the left leg forward. You may want to, again, use your blocks for this. As you step your left foot forward, lift your toes up, spread your toes. Just get this nice engagement of the front leg before walking your blocks back to, to support you as you sit down. And again, it's likely to feel a little bit lopsided. If you feel like you're about to fall over on the straight leg side, then by all means, use a blanket, a towel, or a block to set you up. We'll once again do a twist, turning to the bent leg side. As you turn toward the right side, use your right hand to keep a nice lift here as you open the chest to the right side. Now take yourself out of the twist to turn to the straight left leg, straight arm, palm facing out, using your left hand as a kind of kickstand to get just a little bit more length. You release out of the pose to come to a kneeling position again. So make your way to a bent leg position where you'll step your right foot forward again with the not right knee approximately right over the right ankle. Tuck your back toes under, reach back. Now for some of us, just placing the hand to the sacrum and doing a nice back bending, heart opening pose works. But see if you can maybe take your hand down either to the heel or to a tall block reach your right arm up plug back so draw in from the fingers all the way to the armpit reach over just enjoy this nice length here inhale 
lift yourself up out of the pose. Now come to a kneeling position again. In that kneeling position, step your left foot forward. With the left knee approximately over the ankle, the back toes tucked under or, re or have your tall block ready. Reach back. Take your left arm up. Take the head of the arm bone back before reaching up and over. Invite your breath to help expand the upper chest. Open this area of the heart. Inhale. Lift yourself up out of the pose. And once again, come to a kneeling position with your hands to the low back. Now, if you want to reach for your heels like we just did, by all means, find your heels. So take your position as you draw the heads of the arm bones back. You get this nice stretch to the upper chest and the thighs. Inhale, lift yourself out of the pose. Now let's come to lie down. When you lie down with your knees bent, take your blocks under your pelvis, lift your pelvis and just settle the blocks down. Just create this nice opening of the upper chest. Nice ease in your breath. If you'd like to take your feet off the mat and lift them up, feel free to do that. You have this nice ease in the breath. The legs can be slightly bent or straight, your choice. See if you can create this fullness in the upper chest and a nice curve to the low back. Nice ease to your breath. Breathe in deep and out long. And as you're ready, you can either stay in the pose for a few more breaths or bend your knees to take the blocks out from under the sacrum. Stay in the pose with the pelvis lifted. And slowly take your pelvis down so it arrives first, not the low back. You keep a nice curve in the low back. So as you straighten your legs, to come to Shavasana, you keep the lumbar curve. Allow your eyes to softly close. Come to a nice easeful in-breath. Long out-breath. Have real soft facial muscles. See how your breath can create more effulgence, more fullness around the heart. Allow your breath to be natural and free. Keep your limbs in this very easeful position. Have a nice softness to your facial muscles.
bring the brightness inside through the breath. Breathe in deep and out long. You breathe in deep and out long. You breathe in deep out long. Enjoy this heart opening Shavasana. Namaste.